Always time. a risky thing to predict the future, but looking at, say, the direction that we've gone in the last 20 years, which we can map out, and perhaps it's possible to sort of start to chart ahead, what's your feeling in 20 years' time, if we're fortunate enough to be sitting here talking about it, what's the conversation going to be about? The image that comes to mind, and this may may not happen at all, but it's something like this. At the moment, there's still a tendency to divide the talks you hear into ones that are really about consciousness itself and those that are about, you might say, the easy problems, you know, whatever. That dichotomy itself is uh, a restatement of the hard problem. It, it's kind of saying there's this thing called consciousness itself when we're studying. I think that that will go away and, and in 20 years time we'll be studying things like how the delusions are made, how the representations of self. We had a wonderful paper by Michael Graziano the other day in, and his view um, subject of experience is the brain's model of its own attentional processes, ongoing in time attentional processes. Again, I can't quite buy the identity, but, but I can understand the idea that an awful lot of when we're you know, saying I'm conscious of this is about the attention and I must have a model of what I'm attending to and not attending to and that's and mindfulness practice makes this all more clear I think. Um, so we may be doing more, there may be more work on how these models are constructed, how they relate to what people say and also I, I hope a lot of people doing the various kinds of personal practice, training of attention, um, learning how to notice things they didn't notice before. Um, and, and those would both, I think, be very helpful to dismantling this false idea of the hard problem, <laughs> the consciousness itself. Mm -hmm.